Have you ever pondered the possibility of us not being alone in the universe? It's a question that tickles the mind when we gaze at the starry night sky, a cosmic conundrum that's as vast as the universe itself. Let's contemplate this for a moment. The universe, in its infinite expanse, is teeming with galaxies. There are an estimated two trillion galaxies, each filled with countless stars and planets. Among these celestial bodies, the possibilities for life-sustaining habitats are virtually limitless. Yet we find ourselves confronted with the Fermi Paradox, a concept that pokes at our understanding of the universe. It questions a perplexing reality. If the universe is so vast, with so many potential habitats, why haven't we encountered any signs of extraterrestrial life? In the immense cosmic ocean, could we genuinely be the only form of intelligent life? In the search for alien life, scientists look for planets resembling our own. Our planet, Earth, teems with life, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains. It's a Goldilocks planet. That's right, just like the fairy tale. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. This Goldilocks zone, also known as the habitable zone, is the region around a star where conditions might be just right for life as we know it. A place where liquid water could exist on a planet's surface. But our Earth is just one planet around one star in a galaxy that hosts hundreds of billions of stars. And that's just our galaxy, the Milky Way. There are an estimated two trillion galaxies in the universe. So the question isn't really if there are other Goldilocks planets out there. The question is, where are they? And how many are there? The Kepler Space Telescope has been our eye in the sky, searching for these exoplanets, planets outside our own solar system. Since the launch of Kepler, over 4,000 exoplanets have been confirmed, and a significant number of these are located in their star's habitable zone. Consider this for a moment. Each of these planets is a roll of the cosmic dice, each a chance for the miracle of life to have sparked, each a potential home to civilizations like ours, or perhaps something beyond our wildest imaginations. But what are the chances? It's a question that has puzzled scientists for decades. The Drake Equation, proposed by astronomer Frank Drake in the early 60s, attempts to estimate the number of advanced civilizations in our galaxy. The results vary wildly based on the inputs used. But even conservative estimates suggest that we should not be alone. So while we have not yet found direct evidence of life beyond Earth, the sheer number of Goldilocks planets suggests that the universe is a place full of potential. The discovery of these planets gives us hope that we are not alone. But if there are potentially habitable planets, why haven't we heard from anyone yet? This question leads us to the concept of the Great Filter. It's a theory, a rather unnerving one, suggesting that there exists a certain stage in the evolution of intelligent life that is extremely challenging to surpass. Could it be that this great filter is the reason why we haven't received a single hello from the cosmos? It's a possibility. This formidable stage could be so difficult to pass that civilizations before us may have failed, hence the eerie silence from the universe. Now here's where it gets a bit unsettling. If the great filter theory holds true, it implies two possibilities for us. Humans. Have we, in our journey of evolution, already crossed this great filter triumphing where others might have stumbled? Or is this great challenge still lying ahead, waiting for us in the shadows of our future? Does this mean we have already passed the great filter or is it yet to come? The search for extraterrestrial life raises more questions than it answers. We've journeyed through the vastness of the universe, a realm of innumerable stars and galaxies, where the sheer scale challenges our very understanding of existence. We've delved into the mysteries of exoplanets, celestial bodies orbiting stars beyond our solar system, some situated within the so-called Goldilocks zone, where conditions might just be just right for life as we know it. We've grappled with the disquieting Fermi paradox, pondering why, if the universe is so teeming with planets, we've yet to encounter any signs of alien life. And we've wrestled with the ominous concept of the Great Filter, the theoretical barrier that advanced civilizations must surpass to avoid self-destruction. Each of these elements, like pieces of a cosmic jigsaw puzzle, contribute to our understanding of life's potential beyond Earth. In the grand cosmic scheme, we continue to wonder, are we truly alone?